Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to look at a column and strat question. And the question reads, a strat with an overall length of 3.6 meters is pinned at both ends and used to transmit a load. Using Euler's formula, calculate the critical load that the strat can bear if it has a cross-sectional area as shown in the figure below. It has 200 kN newton per millimeter squared. So this is a cross-section. It is a T-section. The flange has a breadth of 75 millimeters and a thickness of 5 millimeters. The web has a um, thickness of 5 millimeter and a depth of um, 95 meter. So let's go through the step of solving uh, this question. Excuse me. Um, first step is um, to calculate uh, IXX. So we are going to calculate IXX and then calculate IYY and compare the two. The column, the Euler's critical load, uh, or rather the column will tend to buckle in the direction where the I, the I is less. So if IYY is less, or IYY is, um, if IYY is less, or IYY is IXX, sorry, <laughs> is less, uh, the uh, the, the the column will tell to buckle in that direction. Uh, but from inspection, uh, it will tend to buckle along the IYY direction, but let's calculate and see. So I'm going to use the parallaxis uh, theorem to calculate the IXX. I'll prepare the table as shown. This is my section A, section A, and this is my section B. And I'm going to use uh this as the reference line on here right uh, let me try and uh, draw something better all right so i'm going to use the art place as my reference line so my a is this uh, this top part here, uh, this top part here, and that is my A, that section there, and my B, uh, this is my B. The area of A is basically 75 times 5, you get 375, the area for B is, now the distance from here, here is 100 minus 5, that is 95. 95 times 5, and you get 475. Now, <clears throat> the I, I'm, again, I'm saying this is my reference line for A, is the distance from middle of this, uh, from here to there. It's the distance of Y, Y1 here. All right? Then <clears throat> distance for y two is for b. It's the distance from now here to the distance from uh, half of that. <clears throat> so the distance from down here to here it's. 25 plus half of 5, that is 2.5, and you get 97, right? So you get this value here. Then the difference from here to here, it's a half of 90, 95, and you get 47.5. To get AI, you basically multiply this by this. You get this by this. If you use your calculator, you'll get... Uh, uh, this value here. 375 times 97.5 will get 36,562.5. Similarly, if you multiply 475 by 47.5, you get 
22,562. Now, if you sum these two, uh, AY summation, look at that value here, 59,145,125. And if you do the summation of these two, these two areas, you'll get this. To get Y by is basically, is basically AY divided by I. So that's what I've done here. If you do your calculation, you get that the Y bar is um, 69.56. So that's distance is somewhere here. So this is where the center of gravity of this shape is here. Um, yeah. So that's the distance there. So that is what is 69. Five six point five six. As the distance from uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, roughly. So now we are going to split the individual ixx. Remember the formula is according to parallel axis theorem is. Uh, uh, this uh, formula is this one. So to get IXX for the first figure here is basically BD. This one is a B D cubed over twelve. So our B is the breadth, which is five. Our D is seventy-five. Uh, so if you work out that, you'll get um, 71.25. That is 5 times 75 cubed divided by 12. You get 71.25. Again, for B, it will be the same BD cubed over 12. Uh, that will be our breadth is 5 times our depth is 25 cubed divided by 12. You get 5, uh, 357,240. So if you sum these two, you'll get uh, this huge figure here. I wish it was my bank account balance. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not. Uh, maybe I'll get there one day, mm, God willing. So 350,000, uh, 020.83. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, make sure you do and uh, like this video, uh, watch it till the end. And if you want to donate something, I leave my person number, Apotini. So this H, how do you calculate this H? This H <clears throat> for A, it's the distance from now, center of gravity of this ship. Uh, this distance. Uh, let me use a different um, different color here. Now it's the distance from. Uh, this distance here. That will be 69.56, or rather, um, 97.5 minus 69.56, and you get 27.9. Again, the distance down here, 22.1, L will be distance from now set of gravity of B to where the the center of gravity of the overall ship that distance there, which is 69.56 minus 7.5, you get 22.1. Right, so that's how you get. Uh, let me call this is H. Let me call this H one. This is H two. So this is my H one, and this is my H. Two. To get a H squared, you basically multiply the area times this squared, and you get this huge value here: ninety-two thousand seven hundred sixty-six. 
or if this was my money in my bank account. So if you add these this two, you get uh, again this each value there, 528,807. So now to get I, you basically add uh, these two components. I basically add these two components. Uh, basically add this and this, and you get the value down here, yeah, 881, 917.89. So that is our IXX. Now let's calculate um, our I I Y Y I Y Y. Right. So the T section is symmetric along the I the Y Y axis. So basically, this component A H squared will be zero. So basically, we just use the formula direct. I is equals to B cubed multiplied by D divided by twelve. For the two sections, that will give 75 cubed times 5 divided by 12 and 5 cubed times 10 5 divided by 12. And you get 10 raised to power 5 millimeter to power 4. And now let's continue. We are going to compare IXX is greater than, so our hands, the column will tend to buckle in the YY direction. So IXX, it will offer more resistance to buckling. So we design using the lower value. We design using the lower value. And we now, hence, we are going to pick mm -hmm. IYY. So the, the Euler's formula, or Euler, if you are an African like me, you will just pronounce it as Euler. But anyway, the correct pronunciation is Euler. He was a he was German, German guy. Euler. Mm -hmm. So Euler's formula is equals to squared divided by L squared multiplied by EI. EI is known as the flexural or the rigidity, whatever. Is the Young's modulus. I, of course, is what we've been calculating. The second moment of area. So now you just calculate the values. Now I've converted um, the E into, remember the E was given in 200, kilonewton per millimeter squared. So I've converted to Newton per millimeter squared. And that's why I've multiplied now by three. So that is given. And this is IYY. Of course, this is the length. It was in meters. Now it is in millimeters. Multiply by a thousand. It's just I. So if you just punch in the numbers, you get 26,958.6. And then kilonewton is 90. Supposed to be a point 26.96 kilonewton. So that is your final answer, and you get your 20 marks. Imagine 20 marks. marks. So, in case you want to donate, this is my M person number 0704 Russia keep point and it bundles. So watching out of guys and of course don't forget to like the vis to like this video, share and uh, do what and of course subscribe if you haven't.